Nice flat lie, top of the hill. Uh, Nikolai. Where the flag is cut, you've got to decide where the best miss is if you're going to miss, and that's a darn good place to put the ball right in the heart of the padding surface, absolutely where he's aiming. Up to the green, and Nikolai Hoygaard down the slope for an eagle three to climb within one. That's going to come a bit shy for Nikolai. Here's a, a birdie part for Nikolai Hoiger. Thomas Bjorn is back in the commentary box alongside Nico Kolsarts and myself, Dom Hollier. Yeah, need something to happen to get in this tournament. Why not? Why not? That's a million three. Right, coming off the birdie at five. Hoiger over the water at the par three, sixth. It's a tough pin this to get at. It's only 11 on, it's got four off the left-hand side, so you've got water short, you've got water left of the flag. What a tee shot from Nikolai Hoygar at the six. This to join the group at 16 under. No problem there, that's a lovely two. That's two birdies in a row, three under after six. Nikolai ready to launch. Not the most controlled swing from Nikolai that, but it's straight down the middle of the fairway. <laughs> but it'll work. This is straightforward as well. Mm, nice kick off the left side there. Very easy putt coming up, straight up the hill, maybe a fraction left, right to left. To join the lead, Hoygaard, just like that, it has been moving and shaking, and he does. Up alongside Fleetwood and Hovland now. To 12, down in the sand, Hoygaard. Look at it up quick, he's his power. Huge lips, got a good contact, uh, still couldn't make it. Yeah, some of these lips are 10, 12 feet high, and if you get at all close to them or get a bit brave, you can leave the ball in them quite easily. One of our leaders, Whoa. first foul he's missed today, but it looks like he may save his par. As I say, that pin cut a little ridge that runs from right to left across the green, so unless you're going down, down the middle of it, Quite tricky to read. Trying to save an important power on 12. Oh. He'd be fighting with himself. So it's a bit of a mistake on seven, missed a short one on eight, then misses this one here. Nikolai on 13, power three. It's a difficult flag to get to. He's done extremely well to keep emotions in check, though, even though I'm guaranteed he'd be bowling inside. Tricky to get everything just right here down the slope, and he's done it. Very good work after missing a shortish one at the last, 17 under. Yeah, this is long drive territory. Speed, long drive shape, a leap of them. running away Let's like go. a scolded cat. With that go, we'll have an iron into this bar five there, Nikolai. This is an enormous tee shot. Doesn't make this any easier because it's such a slither of a green he's aiming at. 36 yards, up to the flag. Pin tucked over a little pimple, guards the front of the green like a knuckle. Okay. It's a very fine shot from Nikolai there. Finding the green on a par five. Probably the toughest one of the par fives to find in two and give yourself a realistic eagle chance. This would put the cat amongst the pigeons if this goes in. Nice try. 
beautifully played old cracking drive. I would imagine a five on him. Maybe a little bit there with a six. He's had a lot of maturity to settle himself down after the bogey at 12. Well, neither of the twins are frightened of the winning enclosure. Sometimes when you're young, you think, oh, I might win this. But they're not worried about that. They just play their game. Didn't leave anything behind this. Finds the right hand side there. It's a great angle to come from to this short pin. Yes, a little unlucky to skid a fraction more. Perfect angle in, but it was one of those sort of fluffy Bermuda lies, not that easy. Well, this is for three in a row for Nikolai Hoygaard. And this is to join Tommy Fleetwood in a share of the lead, and he's done it as well. Second last week, is he going to go one better? We shall see. First of all, to uh, Hoiga on the 16th tee. There's difficult par four. Thomas Bjorn's back with us. Fairly straightforward hole for Nikolai. He can carry that bunker in the middle of the fairway, I think, with a good one. Yeah, easy. And that's a long way down there. That actually has to sit down, sit down. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's the ball of uh, Nikolai Hoiger. He saw the drive at 16. He's left himself just 107 yards here. It's a funny man. motivation with that baby shark song in the background. He is right in the groove, isn't he, Hoiger? He will have a putt to move clear of Tommy Fleetwood at the top. And it's a putt you'd like as well. Oh, it's just picking your line here. Head still through the ball. Yeah. Uh, makes the most beautiful birdie on 16. Oh, God. Four on the trot. One ahead of Fleetwood. Nikolai on 17. Big shot this one. Is up to the task, Thomas. What a fantastic strike from the 22 year old Dane, and he's got that for five birdies in a row. Nicola Hoggart makes a two on 17 after probably the closest shot we've seen under the gun produces. This is going up Fire! the left. Fire! This is going to be in the rough up the left. A decent lie. Time to make good decisions now. I can't see him doing anything but laying up here. Oh, he's gone for it, hasn't he? He has. What a shot that is. No guts, no glory, I guess. Well, he has faced the pressure cooker that is the Ryder Cup. I wonder whether that's stood him in good stead over these closing stretches of such a big tournament like this. He wants to be in these situations. This is a tough putt, going through the first part and throwing it a long way left. Hit it, has he? That's a good effort from there. Excellent cut from there. Gives himself a good chance. This is for six, and very possibly for victory here in Dubai. Well, well, well. I don't think anyone expected that. Just taking a moment. Hardy. 
is. And it's around a 64 for Nikolai Hoygaard, so he sets the target here. Uh, 21 under par, but you can tell from the reaction just what he feels. It's birdie but. Nikolai, many, many congratulations. Your third DP World Tour victory, your first in a Rolex Series event, has come on a dramatic afternoon at the DP World Tour Championship with an eight under par round of 64. What does this victory mean to you? It means a lot. Um, it's the sweetest one. Uh, it's so much hard work um, been put in the last couple of years. Um, and this year has been, it's been a really good year if I look back on it and, and I felt like the only thing I needed or was missing was a win and to get it this week um, in this field, um, it's unbelievable. I mean, I can't believe it's just happened because I was just so focused on the job and on the golf course and, and understanding on 18, having a putt to actually close it out and it slips by. Um, I, f I, f I thought it was a quite a tough moment for me, actually. Uh, I was like, did, I, did it just slip away now and do we have to go in the playoff? But um, we kind of regrouped and, and, and uh, it took a little bit easy, um, but it, this feels amazing. I uh, got family here. Um, this one is for family. Um, everything they put in um, over the years. Um, it's okay, take yeah. a moment. Uh, it's just so, so much hard work going into this, and, and it, it, to, 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 for it to happen like this is, is unbelievable. Two shots behind with six holes to play, having I mean, bogeyed the 12th. You then make five birdies in a row under the most extreme pressure. Tell us what you're thinking, what you're feeling as that's unfolding. Uh, we were talking about it out there. Um, just focus on the job, focus on ourselves. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Uh, we know there's a lot of birdies on this golf course, but at the same time, you have to hit the shots, you have to hold the putts. Everything can happen, especially coming in with this stretch here. Um, I just, we, we just um, were so focused on the job today and been the last two weeks and um, yeah, uh, to walk up 18 knowing there's a good chance for it um, feels, feels pretty good. 24 birdies and two eagles this week. This golf course is no pushover. We've seen some low scores, but it's not a pushover. Is that the best golf of your life? It's up there, yeah. Uh, it, it, it came in stretches this week. Um, it came in stretches where I played some really good golf. Um, I have to say this is probably the best golf I've played in tournament because this is the strongest field uh, and it's one of my three wins and uh, yeah, I mean the game feels good. I felt good before going out and um, to, to finish it out like this is, is pretty cool. The victory takes you to second in the race to Dubai and to a career high of 50th in the world and we know that opens doors into major championships etc. How excited about that potential? Yeah, it's. Uh, I was hoping to make a run the last two weeks um, to get me close to the top 50. Um, so to finish out like this, uh, it doesn't mean it's guaranteed top 50 for next year, but this is the sweetest way to finish a year. Um, I can't believe uh, we finished on, on such a high note and um, we're definitely going to enjoy this. Many, many congratulations. Fantastic plan today. Thanks. Well done, Nicola. Appreciate it. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.